Okay. Hey, so uh, this is Judah Hoover and uh, April Crossley. April Crossley uh, coming to you here from the uh, Landlords and Investors Mastermind Group. April is going to be our next speaker, uh, June 27th, 7 o'clock, Red Lion Hotel in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Yeah, and super excited. So what's so great is, I don't know if you can tell or not, but we are at Kitchen Kettle Villages in Lancaster County. April, if you follow her on Facebook, and you should, because she's a phenomenal follow on Facebook. I'm serious. Um, so she does all these great things uh, with her family because she can. Yep. Because you're a full-time real estate investor. Yep. So how, how long have you been a full-time real estate investor? Six years. Six years. I and retired six years ago. So you retired six years ago, so you've been, you work hard, you work long, hard hours. Like, yeah. you, becoming a full-time real estate investor is not so you can work two hours a week. Right. Like, yeah. it is still it's a, a job. job. It's a business. You yeah. just trade jobs. That's yep. what I always tell people. If you want to be lazy, go do something else. Yep. yep. Um, so, and how long from the time you... I remember you were saying like you and your husband, like you were on your, I only just heard this story once, like you were on your honeymoon or you were on a vacation yep. and you read a book, yep. what book was it? Uh, the One Minute Millionaire. One Minute Millionaire. I wasn't yep. sure if it was Rich Dad, Poor Dad or, or Real Estate Riches, but, and you were like, oh my goodness, you can develop wealth through real estate. How long from that moment until you quit your job? Ah, that was a long time. It was probably, a long time. Probably like 10 years About because 10 I was, years. I was kind of just dabbling, dabbling for a while until I realized. I can really do this and leave my job and flip enough houses to replace my income. It took me a while to figure that out. <laughs> and that's actually one of the other things I actually love about you is there's so many people out there, especially in the in in the information space, April, and I can tell they're disingenuous right away because they're like, this is the way to invest in real estate in yeah. 2019, or you must do this. You own rental properties, yep. and you connect people with hard money lending, yep. and you flip houses. Yep. And do a little you bit of everything. Run, I mean, like, like that's to me, that's what I love about real estate investing is it's why it never gets boring to me. Yeah. So, so um, June twenty seventh at the uh, Red Lion Hotel, and one April, you and I have both seen the last crash. Yeah. And real estate is really hot right now, and there's a lot of people who um, think that we might be coming up for another downturn or correction, or I don't think it's gonna be nearly as bloody as last time, but you're still actively buying. Yep. And you're still actively flipping. Yep. And you think that we, you think that there's still good deals to be done right now and there's not overheating. I think you can get deals in any market. And that's what you're gonna be talking about. Yes. How absolutely. to find those deals, why you think those still deals are out there and everything yep. like that. Yep. I am talking so incredibly fast because my genuine love and appreciation for this woman is off the charts and uh, I am honored that she is going to be with us and uh, please uh, feel free to join us and share this link, uh, tell other people about it and bring a friend and we will see you there.